In the previous lesson, I spoke about custom data types. In this one, I'm going to drill down a little bit on the differences between print in Python 2 and Python 3. Print is one of the more obvious changes between Python 2 and 3. In Python 2, print was a statement. This means you called it without brackets. In order to implement the equivalent functionality of the sep, end, and flush mechanisms that are in the Python 3 arguments, the Python 2 print had to do some magic stuff and change the syntax a little bit. By changing print into a function, it now behaves like other built-in functions in the system. This allows you to get rid of all that special syntax, and you can do things like injection and composition and mocking on the print function as if it were any other function, built-in or otherwise. Functions are first-class citizens in Python. They can be passed by reference just like any other object. You can see that in this code. In this download method, the log argument is being passed to the print function by default. If the programmer calls download without passing anything additional in, the log function will just be the print function. The silence function is an empty function. You can now call download with silence or print. You could not implement this in Python 2 the same way. You can also use lambdas, which are anonymous functions inside of Python. This allows you to create print passing in specific things like a prefix that says info, changing the behavior of how the reference function log gets called inside of the download method. Python also has a pretty print method, which is useful for displaying objects such as dictionaries. In the next lesson, I'll show you how.